Warning, please do not try this at home. Hey, hey guys, so I think I'm just gonna dive right into the piercing. I don't know what my next piercing is gonna be, and I don't know if I'm ever gonna film getting pierced because that's just not what I do. I figured this would be like the closest thing you would get to coming to a piercing thing with me. And of course, heed the warning of don't do this at home. I've done this a lot of times. Um, I remember like I was in Toronto and I was saying that to the guy who I was staying with, I don't know what you call that, like he was a bed and breakfast place and I was, I said to the guy that I was staying with after we pierce, or after pierce myself, and he was like, what? And he explained all this blood, there's no blood. Um, I mean, honestly, there was some blood, but, um, See, it's kind of right now. Uh, there's no blood, really. Uh, there was some blood from my industrial piercing, which is this one. Oh, God. This one. You can see it, but you can't see it. You can see the bead up there. Um, there was some blood there uh, yeah. for my nose. And basically, it's only for, like, the cartilage. There was a little blood on my eye. Like, right officially, it's in the clear... On April 21st, I have to check. That's like in the clear, it will be here, all that stuff. And by then, uh, I don't know. I may or may not take it out. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, so, anyways, after I got, I just wanted to deliver the goods and that I'm piercing myself. Um, if you keep on missing the hole, or if you keep on piercing it, It'll get really, really red and swollen, so I don't want that to happen with this ear. The thing that sucks is that, like, because I'm not at home, uh, I don't have the usual piercing stuff that I have. Um, honestly, for my ears, which is what I pierce all the time, I go with just an earring. But, uh, I have a variety of earrings that, uh... Oh, here we go. Um, how sharp the earring uh, stud is. <laughs> um, and that's like... But I, I'd go with the sharpest one. But yeah. Pierced. And you can see... Your industrial. That one bleeds sometimes. When I, uh, I used to not wear my industrial all that often, so I have to re it often. Um, and that would bleed regardless. Earlobes don't really bleed that much. I'm gonna probably make another one where it's like I'm gonna go through all of the inventory of my piercings. Um, if you count, like, the piercings that I have, I don't have that many. I have, like, single digits for how many piercings I have right now. But if you count the amount of times that I've been pierced, it's easy double digits, like, 30 plus kind of deal but uh yeah anyways on to the next topic this has been bothering me like so much so much like for reasons uh mainly being that it doesn't directly affect me but it still affects me because i mean it directly it doesn't affect me at all like i have no horses in this race like whatever but it affects me in that like being a youtuber it affects you for me, I found out about the YouTube sex scandal when I heard about, um, oh yeah, there you go, you can see it, my thumb, it's, it's bleeding, so yeah, so it does bleed, um, so I heard about the YouTube sex scandal, I heard it through the first person, um, I don't remember how I heard it. I think it was on Tumblr or something. And I heard about, uh, there was this person, I'm not going to say her name, because she doesn't deserve that. Um, totally bad, not the guys though. Uh,